Hey everybody, this is Sherry, and I am doing the video response for Scrapologist uh, 1000 Subby Giveaway, which is her Ain't Got Time For That. And I had to think about this, because I'm kind of laid back, and it takes quite a bit to get me wound up. But once I'm wound up, whew, that's bad. Bad, bad stuff. And I look like crap, forgive me. I'm like getting ready for bed. My hair's pulled up in a little thingy do. It's actually getting long enough to pull up. I'm happy. So, um, let me, my first, I wrote these down so I wouldn't forget because I knew I would. Uh, the first thing that I ain't got time for is rude people. I can't stand rude people. You know, the cashier doesn't schedule how many other cashiers are in line. So don't yell at her because there's 13 people waiting. She didn't plan the schedule. She doesn't get paid to get yelled at. Ask to speak to a manager. If you're not happy with your food, don't yell at your waiter or waitress. Ask to speak to a manager. They don't get paid enough to get yelled at. Rude people drive me nuts. So that was my first one. That was a big one for me because that was an easy one to come up with. <laughs> um, the second one would be people who have more than you do and want to make sure that you know they do. You know, I'm glad you got a new car. I'm glad you got a nice house. I'm glad you got money in the bank. I'm happy for people. But when you do it to remind me that I don't have a new car or I don't have the nicest house or I don't have money in the bank. Because when I say I don't have any money, I mean I don't have any money. We're not, you know, we're not playing here. There's no money, you know. And so when you try to build yourself up by tearing other people down, I ain't got time for that. No. Mm -mm. Now this is one that gets me upset hurts my feelings this next one and that's when people use the word retarded and I know a lot of people do it and I'm not meaning to upset anybody because I know a lot of people say it and don't think anything about it but you know I have two children with Down syndrome and have grown to love a bunch of children through my kids' classes that are mentally retarded so when you hear people say oh that's retarded you know that hurts because you're saying there's something wrong with my child even though that's not what you were referring to but ultimately that is the classification my child is put in and I just don't like it when people use it in that way and and then not to mention when you say it in front of a handicapped person you know that's just cruel and that bothers me and upsets me and gets me wound up and I don't have time for that and um, my fourth one would be don't come to my house to see me and expect to see a perfect house because I have two children with Down syndrome a, a teenager in college a husband that works two jobs I'm disabled, three dogs, one cat, a crazy house. You know, this is a house where the kids come from church and they come over here between school and church. So there's there's homework papers laying places, there's kids' shoes everywhere, there's backpacks places, kids are playing air hockey and this game and that game and and so if you came to, to visit me, come visit me. Don't come to look at my house because it ain't going to be immaculate. It's not going to be, doesn't, go, my house definitely does not look like Martha Stewart lives here, you know, by any means. So, you know, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time to worry about what you think about my house. If you want to visit me, come visit me. I love company. But don't come expecting an immaculate house. And the fifth thing that I ain't got time for are people who don't make their kids behave drives me crazy when you see kids running through the store and there's no parent with them and you're thinking is this child lost you know what's going on well no they're not lost their parents you know 12 hours over and they don't give a flip with their kids ripping off the shelves and somebody else has to put back you know it drives me nuts 
drives me absolutely crazy. You know, one day I went to um, Joanne's, and there was this little kid. He couldn't have been, but maybe two years old, and he was outside of the store, about 30 feet from away from the door. And this lady walked, was walking what looked like with him, but she went quicker, and she went in the store, and I thought, that woman left her child, you know, <laughs> outside. And so I, I get up there as quick as I can, and the little boy sees me, and I think my wheelchair kind of scared him. So he immediately heads back toward the door, and he goes in the door while I go in right behind him, and that woman's gone. I mean, absolutely gone. And then he heads over toward the checkout, and there's two people standing there, an older couple. Looked like they were probably grandparents. They had no idea that child was outside. He could have been snatched up, taken. I could have taken him. You know, and I was getting ready to pick him up and take him up to the front and ask for security because I thought he was lost. And I was like, does he belong to you? And they got mad because I asked, you know, if he was with them. The kid was outside of the store, a two-year-old. You know, if you're going to bring your kids places, take care of them. Watch them. Know what they're doing. My kids know the rules. Jesse and Mariah both have Down syndrome, and they know the rule. If it's not yours, don't touch it. If you ain't got the money to buy it, don't touch it. And they don't. They know that if they behave, they get they almost always get something from the store. But they know that if they don't behave, they ain't getting squat. And if they can figure this out, I'm sure any kid can. You know, make your kid behave. Be where your child is, know what your child's getting into, and watch your kid. See, now you got me all wound up, Carla. Daggum it, and it's bedtime. But I ain't got time for that. I don't got time to worry about your kid. You know, when one, you know, my kids are with their dad, and me and, and Danae are shopping to have a little time without kids. And then I see all these other kids running loose, and I'm sitting here worried sick that somebody's going to steal them. I don't want to have to worry about your kid while I'm out shopping. You worry about your kid. You take care of your kid. And if you can't watch them while you're out, either don't go or don't take them. Find somebody to watch them. I ain't got time for that. You just ruined my whole shopping trip. See? All wound up. Carla, you and I are going to have to have a talk about this one, girl. <laughs> I love Carla. She's my, I'm her adopted YouTube mama, her and Jen Callie, and I love them both. And I feel blessed to have them both as a part of my life. And I was real nervous about doing this video because I was afraid that maybe some of the things I was going to say were going to make somebody upset and um, or come across as mean, and I hope it didn't. Um... But Carla said this is a no judging zone, so I could say whatever I wanted. I just rewatched her video <laughs> to make sure it said this was a no judging zone. So, no judging, guys. Don't judge me. Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.